Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. I love this spring and sunny time. There are flowers everywhere and there are also butterflies. So that's why I prepared this video tutorial and I would like to show you how to crochet super easy and quick butterfly. You will need only 10 or 15 minutes to create it. Just prepare your scissors, tapestry needle and the crochet hook for the yarn you will use. You can use any scrappy yarn. For light yarn I would recommend you to use crochet hook 2 mm and for medium yarn you can use 3 mm crochet hook. All information and pattern notes you will find in the box below and there is also a written pattern available for free. We will start with a magic ring and uh, I will chain three, one, two, three, which is my first double crochet. Now add two more double crochets so you will have a group of three double crochets. One, two and three. So we just finished the first group of three double crochet stitches. Now chain two and repeat these instructions four more times and add three more double crochet. One, two and three. Perfect. Chain two and group of three double crochet stitches. At the end of this round you will have five three double crochet groups and there is always chain two between them. Okay, so I will meet you once you finish five groups of three double crochet stitches and always chain two between these groups. Perfect, I just finished the first row. I have five groups. Now you can tie the end as much as you can and we will start row number two. Chain three at the beginning which is our first double crochet. One, two, three. Now turn your work and we will work in each chain two space and there are four chain two spaces around. In each chain two space place two three double crochet groups and chain two between them. So chain one, chain two and again three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. In each chain two space you will have two three double crochet groups and chain two between them. So let me repeat this pattern in next chain two space. So one, two and three double crochets. Now chain two, one, two and three double crochets again. One, two, and three. Again I will meet you at the end once you finish the row. So work in uh, next two chain two spaces and in each chain two space place two three double crochets group and chain two between them. And this is row number two. There are only three rows. We have to finish our round our row with a double crochet stitch. So insert the hook in the third chain from the beginning and place a double crochet in it. We started with chain three which was our first double crochet and we finish with a double crochet as well. Let me start third row. Again we will start with chain three, one, two, three and then your work and we will place 
the pattern in each chain 2 space. There are 4 chain 2 spaces around. Okay, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so let's start in the first chain 2 space and place 2 double crochets in it. 1, 2, 2 trebles, so yarn over twice. This is my first treble, yarn over twice, and this is my second treble. Then yarn over three times, one, two, and three, and place double treble in the same chain two space. Okay, and now there will be pickle. So chain three, I will show you this pickle on the butterfly, this is it. So chain three, one, two, three, and then insert the hook in the third chain from your hook and place a slip stitch in this third chain. Then yarn over three times and let's make one double treble, two trebles and four doubles okay so one double treble two trebles so this is the first and the second treble and now four double crochet stitches just be careful we started with two double crochet stitches and at the end in this chain two space group we will place four okay so this is the third and four double crochet perfect so look at it so we have the pico in the middle of the ring we started with two doubles, two trebles, one double treble, one pico, one double treble, two trebles and four doubles. And now in next chain two space I will place at first four double crochet. So one, two, three, and four. So we have four double crochets at the beginning. Now yarn over twice and place two trebles in the same chain two space. One and two. So we have two trebles, then one double treble. So yarn over three times. One, two, and three. Insert the hook in the chain two space, make double treble and then pickle. You already know how to do it. So chain three, one, two, three, and the slip stitch in the third chain from your hook. And now one double treble. So the pickle is between two double trebles. Then yarn over twice and place two trebles in the same chain two space. One and two. And we will finish this group with two double crochet stitches. And you can repeat this pattern on the opposite side. So now it will be easy. You will place in next chain two space two doubles, two trebles, one double treble, one pico, one double treble, two trebles, and four double crochet stitches. And you will repeat it uh, for the fourth chain two space. Okay? You see so it's super super easy so place this button in the next two chain two spaces 
in the last one we started with four double crochet stitches then two trebles one double treble one pico one double treble two trebles and two double crochets and we have to finish the round with a double crochet place in the last stitch where we started so we started with chain three and also finish the row with a double crochet and now let me hide both ends we'll need a tapestry needle with a finger eye grab the bag so hide both ends work on wrong side the yarn and also this one tight the end as much as you can so there is no hole in the middle and so it's quick and what is the next step it's to crochet the wrap around the body and two cute little antennas and it's super super easy it's just a basic foundation chain so take a yarn your crochet hook make a knot and then chain as long chain as you wish I chain 30 chains you can cut the end and we will make a knot at both ends of our chain so tie a knot on each end and this is it now you can wrap the chain around the butterfly's body and make a knot on the top okay oh super cute it fits perfectly i'm so satisfied with the length of these chains and the butterfly is super super cute now you can hide both ends so again use the tapestry needle and hide the end into the knot and also in the chain and i'm so happy how my butterfly turned out you can use it as a decoration for your dress for t-shirts or you can attach these cute little butterflies on your bags or hats or you can use these butterflies as a lovely decoration in your home in this springtime or they are also perfect for Easter holidays or I um, use butterflies to create a lovely wishing or birthday card for my family or for my friends and they love it love butterflies so so much perfect i will do the measurement for you as always i will measure both butterflies so this one is bigger and it has 10 centimeters three and a half inches and it's uh, four and a half inches wide 11 and a half centimeters the body is uh, 4 centimeter 1.5 uh, inches long and the small one is uh, 6 centimeters tall 2 and uh, 2.2 inches 3 and a half uh, inches wide nine centimeters wide 
and the body as uh, two and a half centimeters, one inch. So this is it, my crochet friends. You already know how to crochet these cute little butterflies. You can make as many as you wish and you can use any scrappy yarn you have. If you decide to change the color after each row, just uh, make sure you hide all ends. You see there are many as I change the color after each row. This is it. This is my bigger one. I use crochet hook three millimeters for it. And this is the small one. I use yellow, light orange and dark orange now for these butterflies. Again, I change the color after each row. And it's the small one. So I use crochet hook two millimeters to create this small one. I love it. They are so, so cute. So thank you very much for watching my crochet friends. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. In case of any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm always happy to help and support you or you can put the comment in the box below this video. If you like this video tutorial please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Wish you once again happy spring crocheting. Take care and see you at my next video tutorial. Bye bye!